Welcome to part 5 of my layers tutorial. In this installment we'll be looking at layer filters. Inside the layer manager you'll notice two little buttons up at the top left hand side for your filters. We have a choice of a new property filter or we have a new group filter. Let's look at a property filter first of all. If I click on that it now gives me an opportunity to determine by what properties I create this filter. So for example, I may want to filter everything by color. So let's say I want all the yellow layers included in this filter. You can see there's only one. It's probably not a good example. So let's try the color white. A bit more successful. So it's pulled up all of those. I'm going to rename this filter white layers. Obviously in a working situation you'd probably have something a lot more sensible than just a selection by color. But this is just as a training example. And I'll OK that. Now you'll notice in the layer manager now all I can see are my white layers. I can click back on all on the left hand side and it'll show me everything. Or back to my white layers again. I also have an option to invert the filter at the bottom over here which basically then shows me all the layers except for the white ones. Be quite careful of this one. It's very easy to tick it and suddenly you wonder where all your layers have gone. If you do end up in trouble though, by clicking on all at the top, we will bring everything back for you. Second one is our group filter. Now if I go back to all here, I can manually select layers which I'd like to be part of that filter. So for example if I take escape routes, I'll just drag and drop them in. Uh, perhaps all the fire information. I think that'll do. So if I click on group filter 1 you can see there are those selected layers. Now the purpose of filters is simply to exclude any of the layers you don't want to see. You may be working on a drawing with hundreds and hundreds of layers and just for convenience it may be easier just to see a little group of layers at one time just to control colors or visibility. So that's the purpose of them. By having a filter like this for example, group filter 1, if I close down you can see it hasn't affected the visibility in my drawing at all. All it does is allows you to control the visibility of the layers inside your manager in order to manage them more efficiently.